greetings YouTube. My name is Inquisitor Eyes on an Overlook and welcome to my channel. Today is Thursday, October no September twenty-fourth, two thousand twenty. <coughs> Eleven oh seven PM. Whew. Let's see here. Relaxity, okay? Alright. Relax. Shh, okay? Andy, please, relax. I'm trying to do a video, okay? Relax, alright? Relax. Relax. I'll talk to you in a second. Sorry about that. My last. <coughs> in my last update video. A few, uh, I think about a month ago, or maybe like a month and a half ago, I talked about my plans for <coughs> doing flight sims and what I, what I was working on. <sighs> Didn't make it too far with that right there. <coughs> a lot of the games that I had planned or that I that I wanted to let's play, as far as flight sims. I ended up, uh, well, not a lot, but a, but a number of them I ended up having to cancel. And that's good because I have a huge stack of flight sims I want to let's, that I want to let's play. The ones that would give me the most trouble were the ones I kind of thought would give me the most trouble. Like the Lethal Skies games, the Ace Combat games, you know, the, the Ace Combat games for the PS2 <coughs> and Lethal Skies for the PS2. And I was also doing not just flight sims, but any sort of vehicle-based uh, <coughs> vehicle combat game. So I tried the Mech Warrior one and two. Well, I tried part one. I gave up in part one, and I was like, you know, I'm not, I'm not going to do part part two or attempt part two without doing part one as well on my channel. So I tried Mech Warrior one and two. I also tried. Mm, the Ace Combat games, I was able to complete part four. I was able to get somewhat. I was able to get to mission five in part <coughs> five. And the frustrating thing about those games is that I have the strategy guides. And I know maybe I, I'm, maybe I suck because I have the strategy guides. But I can't really, you know, like. I'm still stuck, even with the strategy guides, even with online. Even with uh, <clears throat> you know, walk, uh, YouTube walkthroughs, and that's one reason why I I, I use walkthroughs when I do let's plays. <clears throat> I don't really feel ashamed or feel bad for doing it because seeing somebody do something is different than doing it yourself. You know, if it's like a puzzle or something like that, or or just knowing where to go, that's one thing. But with certain games where the area you're stuck at is something you have to do physically you know, in the game rather than just figure out like a puzzle. It's the difference between watching somebody do something and doing it. You know, I, I can watch people play a thousand games on YouTube on hard. <laughs> it doesn't mean I could do that right there. So that's why, you know, I, I don't I don't really feel shame <clears throat> in using walkthroughs. Plus on top of that I, I want to have as many walkthroughs on my channel or let's put as my channel as possible by any means necessary as long as I'm not using cheats and you know playing you know, you know while invincible or invulnerable or something like that so anyway <coughs> sorry about that I'm not sorry uh, excuse that little tangent uh, yes yeah, so I tried make warrior 1 make warrior 2 I tried <coughs> dropship united peace force I tried Ace Combat 4 and 5. I didn't want to do Belkin. Belkin. I, I didn't want to do 4, skip 5, and then Belkin. Well, I think I did try Belkin. But I was able to complete part 4. <coughs> and I was kind of down about that. You know, like, uh, pretty pretty down about that. And I also tried Jaeger for the Xbox. And all those games I canceled. I was sort of down about having to cancel so many flight sim or, or flight 
combat, whatever, let's place. But in a way, I was also relieved. <coughs> because, like I said, I, I don't want to do just... Like, like there's uh, games I have that I'm pretty sure I could probably do. Those games I just mentioned, they're games I weren't really sure I could do. I didn't want to do just the easy ones. You know, and not even bother with the games that I I didn't even know I could beat or not. Or, or, or let's play. You know, but, but I I feel better now that I've at least that I've at least tried. I've tried, <clears throat> feel a little disappointed, but also feel relieved because now I know, you know, like now with those games out of the way, what's left are games I'm pretty confident I can uh, that I'll have a good chance of completing and recording and a let's play. <clears throat> so once I. Like I said, after I tried those games and I failed, except with uh, Ace Combat 4, I beat that one. Once I tried those games, I was like, you know what? <laughs> I need a break from Flight Sims. So I went back to shooters. And I decided to whip out the old Nintendo Wii and let's play a GameCube game that I had a long time ago, <coughs> but never completed. I thought I did. And that was Die Hard. Uh, Die Hard Vengeance, I think. I guess it's like. I'm not exactly sure where that game, where that game takes place, because I think it takes place after the first, like shortly after the first Die Hard or something like that. Because there's three Die Hard movies, I think. I think this one takes place between Die Hard One and Die Hard Two. And let me tell you, <clears throat> let me tell you, that game is fun. It was a fun game. It's also an extremely frustrating game. For me, it was. But it was also really fun. <clears throat> the game uses uh, auto-aim. and you know, But don't, don't let that fool you. That game is hard. It's... Well, I wouldn't say hard, hard, <clears throat> but it's challenging, and that's that's one thing that like that kind of got me. I was like, "How's this game so like the game has auto auto targeting? How's it you know like when you press up the left trigger to uh, auto target?" And I was like, "How's this game so challenging? Even though like even though there's auto aim, how's it how's it that challenging? Like, am I do I just suck at this game or or what?" <coughs> The gameplay was pretty good. Uh, the stealth was pretty good. <coughs> uh, yeah, the game had the game had the game had a lot of neat ideas in there. Uh, you know, being a movie game, it had a lot of neat ideas, a lot of frustrating <coughs> ideas as well. But uh, 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 a lot of neat stuff. The game approached like uh, shooting and. And first person shooting and first person combat in a pretty pretty good way. You know, a pretty unique way if you ask me. I liked it. I really I really I really enjoyed it. I had to play the final level on easy. Because the final level just really sucked. That game has some very, very annoying parts <coughs> in the game. Some might even say uh unfair parts. But uh Whatever. Uh, if I can ever get my thoughts together, I'll make a video just about that game. Because <coughs> I really enjoyed it. And after that, I tried Geist, which is, in it, which, it, which is the GameCube game. I tried playing it on my, recording it on my Wii. I ended up giving up. That game was, it's an interesting game, but it's, I don't know. Uh, the the shooting whenever you have a gun I think your ammo is un unlimited but it's more it's it's it's, it's a puzzle it's so it, it's more of a puzzle game than a shooter which I don't mind it's just I don't like the fact that, like I don't mind that they have to think a little bit but it, it's too much of it too much thing like every single thing like like 
everything has to be done in a, in a certain way <clears throat> and you, you lose your body pretty much at the beginning of the game so you're this ghost and you have to like take over other people's bodies but you gotta scare them first and the whole act of like scaring them and the, it's just very tedious things have to be done things have to be done in a very specific way and I don't know. I, 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 I don't really mind that kind of stuff, but with that game, I wasn't too fond of it. It, 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 it got on my nerves. And so from then on, from, from there, I moved on to, uh, <coughs> I moved on to Winback. And man, that game, that game, it's a game that I attempted to let's play in the past, but of course I failed miserably at it. I just gave up. I was just turned off by the whole thing. And I was kind of down because <clears throat> I really wanted to Let's Play because supposedly that's one of the first third person shooters with cover. And it's by Koei, which, I mean, Koei and Omega Force, which <laughs> the last people. <clears throat> I mean, when I first heard that, I was like, yeah, well, Koei just published it. They didn't make it because. You know, you know, when I first heard about it, I was like, okay, Koei, whatever. I, I didn't really play it. I, I hadn't gotten around to playing it or actually researching the game just yet. I was like, okay, Koei, well, they just they just put their sticker on it. They didn't make it. But uh, I was watching a review for it because I was thinking about Let's Playing it again or attempting to Let's Play it. And I don't know. I just wanted to, I wanted to do it. <coughs> And I was like, well, I was like, if I could ever let's play that game and beat it, maybe I'll come back and let's play these Gears of War games. Because I gave, up, I gave up on the Gears of War games as well. Well, let's play them. And so, cause, and also I really wanted to do Win Back because to me that's a very pivotal and influential game to, uh, you know, the third person, the uh, cover based third person shooter genre <laughs> and I played it and I, 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 I let's play it and I eventually beat it that game is probably the most frustrating but also one of the most satisfying uh, shooters I ever played in my life first third person first person third person whatever <coughs> I, I I usually try to when I'm talking about games or shooters that I that I like or dislike or whatever I try to keep first person and third person separate I don't I don't want to like sit I, I, I try to put I try not to put third person shooters above First person shooters or first person shooters about third person shooters. Like if, if, if there's a third person shooter I really like, I'm not gonna say oh this is the best shooter I ever played in my life or one of the best. I'll say this is one of the best third person. I I try to keep it keep it separate. <coughs> Excuse me. But with win back, uh, I, I, have, I have to make an exception. I have to make an exception. I'm not, I'm not saying it's better than anything or above anything. there are a few games that it's better than uh, third person third person games but uh whatever my top five is for 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 shooters this is up there this is at least three like it's it's, it's in the top three it's got to be and I, uh, yeah Maybe I need a separate video just to, just to explain it, but I love that game, love it, and I also hate it. <laughs> love it and I hate it. <clears throat> That's another game that uses auto aim, but just because it's auto aim, don't think it's that it's that it's easy. It's not the hardest game in the world, and Yeah, that, that that game is just. I always thought that is it's weird because oh, I, f 
forgot what I was going to say. It was like all the experience that I have from third person shooters that I played, <coughs> you know, for the 360, or for, for the 6th gen and the 7th gen. They kind of sort of helped me with, 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 uh, playing and, and getting through win back. And not, not, not so much, not so much the, the whole thing with cover, like using the cover system, but mainly with crouch, because a lot of games, a lot of third-person shooters, or games in general, they don't have cover systems. They have the crouch, <coughs> and the crouch is really, really essential in that game. So is the cover system, but the crouch is really essential. Uh, shoot. Let me just stop. Let me let me stop for a second and talk about something else just for a second. I started <coughs> doing a, uh, something called Multiplayer Fridays with bots and with friends, and that's I, I wanted to do that because I wanted to have something <coughs> to upload. I wanted to have content regularly showing up on my channel you know when when I when I wasn't or when I'm not uploading let's plays so rather than every Friday I record some let's uh, some multiplayer content I just decided to spend the, the next three or four days just recording like 45 or 48 episodes and just scheduling them to release every Friday <coughs> for a year. And what I've what I've been doing is games from the sixth gen that have offline multiplayer mode with bots. I've been playing those games because who really does that on YouTube? I'm sure some people do it, but who who actually does that for almost every game that has that? And you know who who does that for all of the game modes? How many people do that on YouTube? Maybe not that many. <clears throat> and I figured it'd be interesting, you know, like just just to show which which games actually actually uh, have that feature. And when I played with friend, with my friend Mad Dog, or Fighting Irish. Cause I wanted to do some. Uh, I thought about. Well, I I wanted to have, if I if I could, someone you know, play with me. Someone play you know like the role of player two, but also with bots. I don't want to do just me against them. I rather. I like stuff where it's, <clears throat> where, you can have. One or two players and bots. So me and them have been playing a lot of Xbox games like Jedi Outcast and PS2 games that have <coughs> that have options for you know two you know two or more players and bots. And uh, fun fact, uh, Red Faction Two. I think that game was made specifically. Well, not not specifically, but. The game was made with a very heavy emphasis on offline mode. I think it also had online mode. When it, I think it also had online mode when it first came out. But uh, <clears throat> that game probably has the most. That game and that game and Judge Dread, Dread vs. Death, and Tom Spiders probably has the most multiplayer uh, characters. And uh, I, that game probably has the most multiplayer characters, or more multiplayer characters, than any game from the sixth generation that offered offline multiplayer mode with bots. Uh, I know that's a weird bit of trivia. That's probably a weird bit of trivia, but it's a fact. <laughs> also, Red Faction Two. I think see, Red, Red Faction Two has. Also, like in Red Faction 2, when you start multiplayer, you choose an avatar, and the game has like 45 different avatars that you can, that you can play as. 
and all those avatars like you know they you play against them as well so <clears throat> it also has a character creation option you can actually you can actually create a character and you can't play as them but you can play against them and the neat thing about that you can, you can create up to five of them and the neat thing about that is uh, the more matches that that character plays in you get more points and you can put those points and you know like three or four different different categories <coughs> like accuracy agility and stuff like that and I think it's indefinite you you can just keep putting them in matches keep putting them in matches keep putting them in matches until you max out all their stats now the camping tendency and the aggressiveness those two categories those can be filled from the start they, they don't cost anything so you could make somebody you know with with maxed out camping tendency and maxed out aggressiveness you know those don't cost anything but the other attributes or, or stats those have you know they have to play matches to earn points for those and that's neat because <coughs> how many games from the sixth gen that that's offline multiplayer with bots lets you do that any any I mean, I mean plenty of games let you create a profile or whatever but how many games let you do that also Red Faction 2 probably has the most multiplayer maps like that game has like 45 multiplayer maps I'm trying to think of what other game comes close maybe time splitters and uh yeah, so <clears throat> I've recorded 45 episodes so far of that, and I have them scheduled to release every Friday, starting tomorrow. Today is the 20, what, 23rd, 24th, 24th. So on the 25th, which is tomorrow, a Friday, the first episode will release at 12 p.m. right at lunchtime. And I'll probably release two episodes. And uh <clears throat> yeah, so 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 the games that I liked th that I enjoyed uh the games that I particularly enjoyed recording, you know, for multiplayer Friday, those are the games I'm gonna come back to and you know, maybe maybe record some more episodes. I still haven't done uh I still haven't attempted uh league mode and Tom Spiders 2 in Future Perfect. So I'll do that right there. <coughs> and Yeah, that's about it. Because I really I really wanted to to find a way to just be able to upload content on a regular basis. I record every single day, but I wanted to find a way to just upload some type of content on a regular basis. To where um you know, so, so so yeah I wanted to be able to, I, want, I wanted to be able to, I wanted to be able to upload content on a regular basis without me having to like you know try to like upload let's plays all the time because trying to record a let's play complete it in a week and upload it that's that's too much I, I rather just go at my own pace like I normally do but still have something I can just just have new new content on my channel every single single week you know like on, on like a scheduled <coughs> thing or whatever just consistent and that was that's a good thing and uh yeah so when I so when I when I'm playing any episodes you see where it's split screen that's multiplayer Friday with bots because I'm playing with bots and with friends or with friend or whatever because I'm also playing with my my friend Anything you see where it's just one screen and me by myself, that's multiplayer Friday with bots. Where it's just me against the bots. And sometimes, you know, well, not sometimes, but I'm playing, you know, all different types of game modes or whatever. And, <coughs> yeah, so your weird bit of trivia for the day is, uh, I, I guess, Judge Dread, Dread vs. Death for the PS2. I think it's on Xbox as well. And 
Red Faction 2 for the PS2 ha have have more have the most avatars or 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 they have the most avatars and bots available for play in offline multiplayer mode. Ah, <sighs> so <clears throat> I think that's about it. <clears throat> now back to gears or back to win back. This may need a separate video. This may need a separate video. Back when I was let's playing PS3 games, I let's play the first Resistance, Fall of Man, and I was like blown away. I was like, you know what? I was, I was so inspired by that game. I was like, you know what? I let's play everything else. <laughs> You because know, I I didn't really <clears throat> I was kind of on the fence about playing or let's play kills on two and three, but that experience from Resistance Part One, I was like you know I I've enjoyed this game so much that that uh I'll suffer through the other the other stuff I'll suffer through you know kills on two and three <clears throat> and whatever else I have to do. That was actually a uh. A lot. I actually gave up. I'll come back to to Killzone eventually. <coughs> to Killzone two and three. But yeah, that game really inspired me to like, or made me want to play <coughs> the other games that I had lined up for the PS3 because I felt I felt inspired. Uh, Medal of Honor Frontline did that as well. Like, I, I love that game so much. I was like, you know what? I'll suffer through everything else do all the other Medal of Honors and the other Call of Duties for the PS2 I have to play. Win back that game right there. Once I beat that game, I was like, you know what? I'm just feeling inspired. Let me go back and just try Gears of War. So that's what I'm doing. <coughs> I mean, win back win back that game I can't. I can't think of a game where I actually liked the boss battles. I can't. I can't think of many. And even games where I liked the boss battles, <coughs> with me, just just me, with certain boss battles, some of them, once you know what to do, they're still annoying. If you ask me, and, and a lot of times there's just there's just a, there's just a lot of random stuff happening. But with Winback, everything is so formulae because like once you learn how to defeat a boss you actually learn how to defeat him like, like like once you know how to beat him and if you can remember it it's just that no gimmicks you know just you know just just once you once you learn it then then you're good you know you you're good every time you face that boss battle it'll be the same thing Unless you play on hard or something like that. Now there are a few boss battles <coughs> where once you know what to do, doing it is kind of is kind of tricky because uh, sometimes the, the controls in that game can be really, really uh, annoying or whatever. But uh, that's a whole other <coughs> sort of issue. One thing I love about the game, and it's a weird thing because I'm I'm weird. When you reload your weapon and he ejects, you know, the used or whatever magazine, when he discards it, it makes a sound when it hits the ground. I love that. I love that. I do. I love it. <coughs> I love it. I love how. I love how. How the range, what what certain weapons actually matters, like the the uh, submachine gun you get it has a longer range. I like that right there. It has a longer range than than the handgun. Not a range. Well, it probably does. 
when I say range, I'm referring to lock on, because <clears throat> your handgun can lock on to enemies at a, at a certain distance. Your submachine gun, or whatever it's called, can lock on to enemies at a slightly greater distance. And I like that right there. I like that. I don't know why. <laughs> it's just <laughs> I like I like I like that <clears throat> that detail because in 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 other shooters third or first person you can just take any weapon and just aim and just and just you know hit something there, there are a lot of games where you can take an assault rifle with a scope or with a sight and you can hit enemies you know from all over the place and uh whatever I like how every weapon is a lot I like how every, I like how every weapon was equally <coughs> deadly you know like I, I like every weapon was was equally you know lethal or deadly or whatever <laughs> and I like that right there I like that a lot you know a headshot is a headshot no matter what gun is with and yeah it, it was great <coughs> I love how the gunfights have sort of like I guess it is like how formulaic the game is like if, if you're taking cover enemies will shoot and it's like, well, like once they shoot you get shoot <coughs> you know like like they'll shoot like three times they'll go boom boom and while they're shooting you can wait till they shoot and then shoot or you can wait till their friend is shooting because after all they'll just stop shooting until you show yourself and then you can pop out and shoot one of them that's that's good stuff <coughs> I like that right there I like that as a cover shooter when you shoot someone from behind and, and they're behind cover I like how they stumble back it, it if you shoot someone and they're behind cover, you get a shot. You should have an advantage. Like they, they should stumble back. They just been shot with a freaking firearm. They should stumble back. <clears throat> so hitting someone from behind cover actually causes you to expose them a little bit. And the same thing for you. Like sometimes, like if if you're shot, you don't just take it. You know, like like he man, you 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 fall back. You know, you 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 you're pushed out of your out of your cover for for a second, and and and, and, and you're exposed. I like that right there. I, I don't. Hmm. I'm trying to think if other shooters do that. I'm sure some of them do, but I don't. I don't think all of them do that. I don't think they all do that. I don't know about that right there. I like how your shotgun, which has the shortest range, your shotgun can actually hit multiple enemies. Now it's it's not it's not a guaranteed. You know, like, oh, I got my shotgun. You know, now, now, whoever I shoot at, I'm guaranteed to get like, you know, like, you know, triple kill. Like, you know, like, I can kill three guys at once with this shotgun. No, they, you hit them, but you know that you don't always kill. Like, if you if you aim, if there's three guys right in front of you and you're behind cover, and you aim at the center, you're not going to automatically kill all three. You, you know, like. You you probably won't even kill the first guy at least with, at least with the first shot, but they all stumble, <coughs> and that's something I don't think a lot of shooters do. I don't I don't I don't think so. I mean, they, uh, <coughs> I don't think any. I don't know I don't I don't know if any shooter that does that. I'm sure there's one somewhere, but like I can't think of many shooters to where your shotgun affects multiple enemies which makes no sense because from what from what I see on TV and from what I see on YouTube and whatever when a shotgun when you fire a shotgun it kind of spreads a little bit so you think that more shooters do that like I said I think some of them do that I'm not, I'm not quite sure like like with Gears of War when you use a shotgun the crosshair is so huge sometimes you can fit you know like, like, like sometimes two two or more enemies will get in that crosshair and I don't know if you're damaging everyone in that crosser. You're probably just damaging whoever's closest to you. But it, it's it's surprising that with like that like with uh with as many shooters as there as there are, 
and as there were for the sixth gen. It's amazing that how, you know, like, none, none of them, none of them really, or not many of them, really capitalized on that fact. Like, usually your shotguns just use take out one, you know, like one enemy at a time, <coughs> or whatever. Even the so-called great black. <laughs> it's not great in my mind. It's, it's it's an okay game. I have to get get around to let's playing it, but uh. Even that game doesn't really. I don't think it does. I have to. I have to. I, I have to try it out. I have to try it out. But uh, yeah, I just I really enjoyed that game so much so that I was like, you know what? If if, if I want to do Win Back, which is a very influential game, I was like, I have, if I if I can complete this game, I have to come back and try the Gears of War games because even though I don't like Gears of War, I'm guessing you know a, f a few game developers were were, you know, inspired by that game. I, I guess Gears of War is a very influential game, even though not in my book. <coughs> and now it's time to bash Gears of War. I, I have to bash Gears of War and Halo at least two or three times a year. Just out of habit and out of uh, fun. <coughs> I'm suffering I'm suffering through the first Gears of War now. I beat the game before, before I, before I started be, uh, uh, let's playing. But since, since I decided to let's play, I tried it once, or part one once, and I was like, you know what? It's not my thing. <laughs> I don't feel like doing this right here. But now I'm trying it again, <clears throat> and. I don't know what you guys see in this game. This is, this game is the worst cover-based shooter. Probably one of the worst ones I've ever played. I mean, there's some satisfying moments in the game. But I don't even consider this a cover-based shooter because the whole in my mind, the whole point of taking cover is to protect you from from fire or from being shot but when you take cover in a shooter and you're taking damage and that damage really isn't isn't really significantly affecting you how's it a cover based shooter it's just a regular third person shooter I mean you have to put the cover system in sort of the light category this is a light this is a light cover base shooter because cover doesn't really matter I mean I, 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 I thought it was me I thought it was my my mind playing tricks with me the first time when I gave up on the slats play I was like but playing it again I'm not crazy just like I thought it wasn't the first time I've shoot I've shot guys in the head from behind cover, <laughs> and they just they just eat it. <clears throat> They're eating it. The first time I played the game, or I tried to let's play it, I was shooting a guy while he's behind cover. He gets from behind that cover, runs to another piece of cover. I'm still shooting him while he's running to the, from one piece of cover to the next. And I'm like, what's what's going on? And I I, I, I don't mind too much but I don't like overhype you know that's why I don't like Halo Halo says it's the best shooting or this is the best whatever like so many games copy off of Halo so many games want to be Halo have you played a Halo game they suck those games are terrible I mean I mean <coughs> I, don't, I don't know I don't I don't I don't I, I don't know like, uh, and, and, and like that's why I, I, I'm glad I played other games first. Well, I, I'm, I'm glad I—I I don't want to say a fan, but I'm, I'm glad I really enjoy shooters as much as I do because I've played other. I have other games aside from this game, obviously. And <clears throat> to hear like 
oh this game wants to be Gears of War it's just a Gears of War clone it's this it's that you know, and, and, and so many games oh so much to Gears of War and all this other crap hearing that stuff and playing the games that I've played and owning the games that I own I'm like that's how can you <laughs> how can you say that like this this is the worst How can I put it? How can I put this? Even when you're not using cover, there have been times because there there's a lot of turret sections in the game, and a lot of times f before you take over a turret, there's a guy standing at the turret. There have been times when I've walked up behind a guy that's on a turret, aimed at his head with a shotgun, shot him, and it just gets it gets his attention. He's like, oh, oh. And he and he runs away or to cover. I'm like, I just shot you in the head with the shotgun. Like, what are you what are you running for? Your soul should be running out of your body. You shouldn't be running. In, you shouldn't be running anywhere. Like, what are you what are you what are you doing? And then there then there be times where a guy was crouched behind cover, and I and I go up on him and I'm aiming at him, and he hasn't he hasn't shot me or he, he I'm sure he's noticed, but he just he's just, he just sitting there crouched glitched or whatever and I'm shooting I had to shoot this guy and it, it, it's recorded <laughs> you'll see it when when I release the let's play he just crouched behind cover and I shoot this guy like five times with a shotgun point blank I'm less than 10 feet away from him bang 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 <laughs> I'm like what <laughs> like, what is what is going on so not only is it a terrible third-person cover-based shooter, well, I, I don't want to say that. Not only does it fail at being a cover-based shooter, it's it's also a terrible third-person shooter. It just is. <clears throat> it just is. And I get it. I get it. These creatures in these games, they're not human. They're stronger than humans. They're whatever. They're supposed to take a lot of shots to bring down. I understand that. <clears throat> I understand that. But with that being said, why is there armor? <laughs> why is there armor? I get it. They're stronger than humans. They're you know, they're they're from wherever, another planet, or from underground. Whatever. I, I haven't played it enough. Like I never really paid much attention to the story when I first played it. I'll try to pay some attention now as I'm less playing it. I get it. They're stronger than humans. Why the heck do they need equipment? Why? Do, I understand why they have vests, but why are they wearing helmets? <laughs> you shoot the helmet off, and then you got, and then you got shoot them. Then you have to shoot them. You have to shoot them even more times just to kill them. I don't. I don't. I... No. <clears throat> no. This is not a. This is this is a, a a what do you call it? A, uh, a this is a mockery of third person cover based shooting. It is. This is easily. This is easily the worst cover based shooter from this generation I mean yikes went back is probably turning over in his grave or or on, on his throne wherever wherever went back sits and uh and the third person <laughs> cover may shooter <laughs> hierarchy whatever but th th this game is terrible like, like what's going on what is what is the the issue here, here, here like, like what it's like, it's like the developers they were so focused on on, on saying you know or, or, or so focused on the idea of making a cover base shooter that they never really decided they just wanted the name well we have the you know cover base shooting we, you know we're, 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 we're you know we're, we're Whatever, <laughs> you know, they 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 just want to say, "Oh, look at our game; it has a cover system." But an execution and, and, and actually playing the game, it doesn't play like nothing like a cover-based shooter. No, it doesn't. It, it doesn't. Yeah, there's cover, but the cover is pointless. I mean, for the enemy, it isn't because, like, if you're in the open, you're gonna fall pretty quickly you know but when enemies are, when they're in the open <laughs> they take they take a lot of shots to bring down 
and oh my gosh, I'm, I'm gonna try. I'm, I'm really gonna try when I do some more recordings to have, to add commentary because I wanna. I need I need to talk about this game. I need I need to talk about this game. I may, I may make another video just talking about this, uh, and I need to play it more as well. I wanted to make a, a video called or titled "Win Back Versus the World," meaning versus the world of shooters and cover base shooters, because playing this crap heap, Gears of War, I mean, <clears throat> I mean it's enjoyable in some areas, but like, I don't know. It's, it, it's like sometimes when getting headshots, the pistol or the handgun is probably the most reliable. Not, not the most reliable. But like I need, when, you, when I want headshots, I want something with you know this, this a little more control. But like even when you're aiming directly at their heads with a pistol or or with a handgun, it still takes at least three headshots. There's, I don't think there's a such thing as a one-shot headshot in Gears of War. Maybe if you're using a sniper rifle, but I don't, I don't think there's such a thing. And if headshots don't matter. If you have to shoot somebody in the head more than once in a quote unquote third person cover based shooter, it's not a cover based shooter. How is it a cover based shooter when you need to shoot somebody in the head more than once? Whether they're behind cover or whether they're standing still, how is that how is it a cover based shooter? What's the point of cover? If headshots mean nothing. <laughs> I mean What's the point? What's the point of cover if you can shoot somebody, you know, that's behind cover but exposed, they get up and run from that piece of cover to another piece of cover? What's the point of cover? What's the point of even calling your game a third person cover based shooter? If the cover is, if the cover is, doesn't matter. <sighs> wow. But hey, you guys, not all of you guys, but you know, the majority, they like this game. They like it enough to where it spanned, was it, like five games now? <sighs> Maybe it gets better in part two or part three or judgment. <laughs> Unfortunately, I want to, I want to be there to find, to find out. I'm sure it probably gets better. <clears throat> eventually well it probably doesn't it may, maybe the shooting gets more satisfying and that's the thing shooting the weapons satisfying it's 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 punchy you know the weapons sound nice and and dangerous but that doesn't mean nothing because when you actually use them on enemies or use them on targets that are moving they you know they're not they're not that dangerous i mean i mean <coughs> I don't know. I don't know what I'm talking about. But anyway, that was my rant. And also my updates. Oh, so what I plan on doing now. Shoot, I forgot I forgot a few things. Before I before I before I um decided to do flight sims I, I tried doing uh, the Tomb Raider games I failed miserably at that I, I completed I think legend I failed at anniversary and I, and I failed at uh, the other one Tomb Raider I forgot what it was called uh, dark something <laughs> The only ones I have left now are <coughs> uh, the Tomb Raider remake or whatever, the, the new one, and the Rise of Tomb Raider. So I'll do those. I've already completed Uncharted. And yeah, from there, <coughs> well, from f after, whenever I complete these, this Gears of War series, I think I'll come back and finish recording the Transformer games. The four, uh, four of them. I I decided to not do the 
the other, the first two. And then from there, uh, it's black, Deus Ex for the PS2, Deus Ex for the Xbox, Red Faction, Soldier of Fortune, and a bunch of other stuff. I'll make another video about that. So until next time, you guys, be safe. This is Chris Osmond. This is Chris Osmond on Overlook signing out, saying, "Be safe, take care, and I'll see you later, or something."